Information or speculation comes from social media or research. The idea is to inform viewers of any ongoings regarding PES 2020, whether factual or speculative. Hello everyone, my name is Cam and welcome back to another episode of PES News. Hope you are all doing okay. So let's get into today's video. So Konami have released a launch week schedule for PES 2020. On release day we will get the first data pack which includes updated player faces and licenses and also we will be getting the first gameplay patch that will bring fixes and balance adjustments based on feedback for the community. We will also get our first match day event involving Euro 2020. Now if you do want to see what comes in the data pack and in the first gameplay patch I will leave a link in the description below so you can go and have a look for yourself. It details everything bit by bit on what they are improving. Also on the 12th of September, the first day of maintenance which brings national featured players for my club and updated squad rosters which means that if you want an up to date Master League you will have to wait two days after release. Now it is disappointing that to truly play Master League we will have to wait two days to get the squads up to date. I do admit it is frustrating, yes, but it is nothing compared to what we used to have. Usually in the previous PES installments back in PES 2012, we would have to wait quite a while to get a transfer update. So two days is nothing, but it is frustrating that we will have to wait a couple of days to get our Master League underway. So my club news is finally here, and with four days until the game is officially released, we have some official information coming from Konami themselves. So we have national team featured players, which will come with a unique card design and general card designs which have been refreshed. Also, I must admit, they do look very clean and they do look refreshing for my club in PES 2020. Also, presentation for stats have been improved. We get to see a much better overview of the players and it also does say on Twitter that there will be an option for third and fourth kit options for exclusive kits. Now, exclusive kits could be the integration to do with Project 11. Lanibo did say that the Project 11 would have an integration into my club, but we don't really know a whole lot to do with Project 11 at the moment. And as we all know, legends are to be in the game, and new legends from partnered clubs will be integrated into the game also. And as you can see, the legend cards have also had a new golden swoosh design, and again, it does look clean. And last but not least, my club squads will be available to use in weekly match day events. So that's it for today's PES news. Nothing major has been changed for my club other than a fresh design for the game mode. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below whether you feel it is positive or negative for the my club news that we have received today. Anyway, my name is Cam. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. It does let me know that you do enjoy the PES news content on the channel. Anyway, my name is Cam and I will see you all in the next one.